documenting this for posterity. <laughs> so we know what we did. And what did you do during COVID? Oh well. <laughs> Jiggle it, is it still moving? No, no it's not, good. We're building the five foot square version and these little angles look underdimensioned and the other ones look a little overdimensioned or oh, actually just right to me. They will hold the load just fine. Although I have a feeling that this corner is not quite square so we will see how that all goes together. You want to back it out and try it again? Oh, let me see. Yeah, sure. When you when you're tightening one of the off-center screws, you kind of throwing the angle out of its alignment. That's why it did that. So it's a, okay. Just put the middle one in. Don't let it make it all the way tight, and then do the ones on the other side. Okay. Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's very soft. Yeah. It's okay. Now get the other ones in first, like the drill the other two. Oh, these. Yeah. I have a feeling you could sit on these roosts on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle's going on the roost. <laughs> okay, yeah, as the woodshop chef, I would say you actually should probably have your hair in a bun if you're working with power drills. Yeah. What happened? Oh, it's telling us to stop. Okay, you want me to hold this down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm Do you have enough to finish this? Yeah, <laughs> Barely. <laughs> That is not going anywhere anymore. Yay, look at this. Aren't we glad? <laughs> look at this. Yay! <laughs> oh, the joy, right?
I really need to get a new bit holder like that. It's just not funny. Such a neat perspective. Now, if you could only get a sheep to line up through that hole. Yeah. Well, what I see right now is the plants, actually. <laughs> Initial building this in a day. This was not built in a day. Handlebars next, and then siding and roof. Here are the hinges. I didn't use the little puny screws that came with them, rather using my deck screws. So slick. Hinge installed. Alright, next on roof. So the roof panels are actually easy to cut even with scissors, but I didn't like how that looked. It wasn't quite straight. The edge I produced here is not very pretty if you look at this. I don't really like it. So I thought that maybe using the steel saw would be the way to go. And successfully trimmed down this and this is the cut edge and I think that looks good the way this is. Up to next. I just laid them on top of each other and marked along the edge. And here we go. Und Dach fertig. Super bright today. I think this needs a handle here, but yeah, there you go. Open and close. Next up, ramp and door mechanism and closing off the back side and then the, and a handle and then we're ready to go. Ace had a free paint sample day yesterday, so I got this yummy yellow and a nice shade of blue. There. I'm just going to make that barn quilt door for the chicken coop. Nice little design. Step one was painted all yellow. Step two was mark the lines. Step three, I could mask off half of the dark blue fields. They get two coats tonight and then another coat probably in the morning. And then I'll do the other half. So first sections of blue are painted, but this is still quite translucent, so I don't need another coat. I guess I'll do that in the morning. Finished the chickasha yesterday. Next step would be an automatic door, but it's usable now. So there's a little safety hatch here. Put the door into perspective. Here it is. Unlatch it here and undo the. Here. And there you go. Open sesame. 
nest box. One needs to still be cut open, but that's minor. And here's the other asp for the roof. And voila, done.